Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Let's crack it. So today I'm back with a new video which is about the technical or aptitude questions asked in the Infosys exam, latest Infosys exam. And before that, if you are new to ch our channel, please subscribe to our channel and also refer to our other videos uh, based on the pseudocode questions, solving puzzle questions, interview experiences. So I have mentioned, I'm mentioning all these uh, videos in the description box. So you can refer to them and also go join the Telegram group. I have mentioned the link in the description. And before that, uh, not only for the preparation of Infosys, but also many uh, other MNCs like TCS, Wipro, Accenture, Cognizant. You can prepare from our channel. Uh, just refer to the those uh, playlists. And without any much delay, let's start our today's video. And here we are. So we are going to solve the first question that was asked in the most recent Infosys exam. So this is related to the ratios problem or else uh, the partnership problem. So let's consider that there are three persons A, B, C. So maybe there are they, these three are friends. So they have invested in the same business. So the amount they have invested is given in the ratio of two is to three is to five. For example, like A have invested 200, then we have to invest 300 and C 500 in that way. So even the time is given, the amount of time they have invested in the same business is eight months, 10 months and one year respectively. So I'm writing it in terms of ratio like eight is to 10 is to one year, nothing but the 12 months. Fine. We are given this information, this part of the information, and we are supposed to find the profit ratio of profits earned annually. So in one year. So simply one relation, direct relation is profit is directly proportional to the amount you have invested, and the profit is also proportional to the time you have invested. So I can deduce the relation from these two, right? The profit is directly proportional to the product of amount and time. So profit can be written as the product of amount and time directly 16 8 2 are 16 10 3 is 30 12 5 is 60 the final answer is this is so i can simplify it as 16 8 is to 15 is to 30 option a is the correct answer and moving on to the second question here comes like there is a uh, wire long wire suppose that a wire is in the bent it is bent in the shape of a square so now the wire is bent in the shape, shape of a square we are given the area of square like area equals to 144 centimeter square so can we find the side like uh, root 144 we give, we get 12 centimeters so now we know that the side of a square is of 12 centimeters so each side is of 12 centimeters hence the perimeter becomes 12 fours are 48 so th now the same wire is bent in the shape of a rectangle so one thing remains constant the perimeter perimeter of the shape uh, remains constant so we know the breadth like uh, this is six centimeters and even this is six centimeters. So let me let me consider that uh, the length should be x and the perimeter should be equals to 48. Like 12 plus 2x should be 48. X equals to 36 by 2. 18 is the correct answer. Option C. But few people also try to solve it as like uh, the area remains constant. So 144 should be equals to six into the length. So they get the answer as 144 divided by six, 24. So they landed the wrong answer like option D, but the correct answer is the 18. Only the perimeter remains constant, but not the area. Moving on, we get uh, a permutation and combination related question like uh, we are supposed to find the number of ways in which the letters of the word Taras can be arranged. Basically, the formula is n factorial where the n is the number of letters in the word. So here if we count the letters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 factorial because total 6 letters. But we are supposed to divide it by the number of uh, letters which are repeated also like uh, u is repeated two times. So divided by two factorial. So we get 720 divided by 2 360 option D is the correct answer. And here we get the profit and loss related question. So uh, let me try to solve it in the easiest way possible. So Anand buys a scooter. So suppose the first transaction Anand buys at 115,000. And he sells it at a loss of 20% to Banu. So Banu buys it. At what cost does Banu buys it? Like a 20% loss of 15,000 becomes 80% of 15,000. So 80% of 15,000 is nothing but uh, 12,000 exactly. And now the third transaction is for he sells it to Mahesh. So Mahesh at a profit of 15% now. The 15% profit of 12,000 becomes like 115% of 12,000. So we get it as 13,800. Now finally Mahesh bought it at 13,800. 
but even my spends uh, additionally 2000 rupees on this 13800 like uh, on the cost price so in total it becomes 15800 option b is the correct answer and now the question is about the calendars so we are supposed to find the day on which the calendar falls so we are given that 15th jan 2001 was sunday so the very first step will be whether there is any leap year in between we are supposed to find the leap years and then uh, use the trick of carry forward one day carry so i'll tell you what it is so 15 jan 2001 2002 2003 so every year there will be a one day uh, one carry forward day so if it is not a leap year if it is a leap year then two days will be carry forward so 15 jan uh, 2001 was sunday so definitely 15 jan 20, 2002 will be monday it is very clear and 2003 it will be tuesday so now we are landed at 15 jan 2003 so we are supposed to find 31st jan so in between how many days 16 days right so 16 is nothing but directly on dividing percentile 7 we get only two days so tuesday plus two we get thursday option c is the correct answer you can also verify manually by uh, 15 jan is tuesday 31st jan count uh, try to count you will get definitely thursday and here comes a position related question like if the second half of the alphabet is written in reverse order we are supposed to find the eighth to the right of the twelfth letter from left so let me write it for you show show the series for you so here it is the first half of the alphabet is until m so m will be the 13th letter and from 14th to 15 we are supposed to write from n but uh, we are we have written in the reverse order like 14th 15th 16th until 26th so i hope you got the question now we are supposed to find the solution like 8th to the right of the 12th letter from the left so first of all 12th letter from the left will be this will be the left side so 12th letter will be the l so now after 8th to the right of the 12th so right side of l will be this will be the first m second third fourth fifth sixth eighth so this is the answer option b t will be the 8th to the right of the 12th letter from left moving on a problem on ages like uh, so it will be very interesting like a mother is four times as old as a daughter like uh, let me consider like let's uh, suppose the daughter age is of x the present age of daughter and then the present age of mother becomes 4x because it is four times as of a daughter then six years back after six years sorry before six years she was five times the age of her daughter like uh, before six years the age of daughter will be x minus six whereas the mother age will be 4x minus six she was five times the age of her daughter but we know the relation that it is five times the age of her daughter like simply like we can make a relation like 4x minus 6 equals to five times the age of daughter x minus 6 so on solving it we get 4x minus 6 equals to 5x minus 30 so 4x uh, 5x x remains x equals to 30 minus 6 24 so the answer is x is 24 so x will be the age of daughter right now the present age of mother will be four times of x 24 4 are 96 option b is the correct answer and here comes the coding decoding question like uh, we are supposed to find the possible code of random but not the exact code because i will tell you why he is asking possible code like if you observe the first city like coding london for london it is given a code on is repeated on on so here also three four three four repeated and if you consider n n is repeated in the second code also like france also contains n and n is decrypted encrypted as 4 so even here it is n is encrypted as 4 so the direct conclusion can be like for l can be encrypted as 2 o can be encrypted as 3 so individual letters is encrypted as serially now we are supposed to find the random r a n d o m so R A N is contained directly in France, so R A N uh, the code will be 174, one for R, seven for A, and four for N. And D is contained in London, so D can be encrypted as five, and O can be encrypted as three. So I need to find the final encryption for M. So let's observe the options now here. 17453, possible, possible, but uh, 174545. This is 
both of these are wrong option they can directly we can eliminate now just a simple uh, observation is required like here uh, in the option a it is 2 and option b it is 0 but 2 is already encrypted for l so the only uh, remaining digit is 0 right so the possible code will be option b and moving on to the next uh, relationship uh, blood relation based question so we are just uh, supposed to find the relation between sonam and sima and let me draw a family diagram like uh, suppose there is x and sima's mother is the only daughter of father of sonam's father first of all we are supposed to find the sonam's father so father so here it is sonam so it is clear that sonam and sonam has a father so sonam father is the son of x it is clear now Seema's mother is the only daughter of father of Sonam's father. Sonam's father's father, like uh, the father of Sonam's father will be X and the only daughter to X will be some daughter. He has some daughter. She will be the mother of Seema. Now, the relationship between Seema and Sonam will be simple, right? So, anyhow, these are siblings. The mother of Seema and the father of Sonam are siblings so we can directly say that Seema and Sonam are like uh, sisters or cousins like uncle's daughter will be the correct option Sonam will be the uncle's daughter of Seema because her mother and Sonam's father are siblings and here is a very simple question based on the formula like exterior angle of a polygon is given like it is 12 degrees so exterior angle formula is nothing but 360 degrees divided by n n will be the number of sides of the polygon so we know that here it is 12 so 360 by n is 12 so n will be 360 by 12 it is uh, 30 so the number of sides in the given polygon is 30 so now we are supposed to find sum of all the interior angles so we know the formula now we know the side and the formula will be 2n minus 4 right angles right angles nothing but 90 degrees 2n minus 4 into 90 degrees so it will be substituting n equals uh, 30 it becomes 60 minus 4 into 90 so finally we get the answer as 56 into 90 the correct option will be 5040 so option b is the correct answer like 56 into 90 gives 5040 and here comes the difference between si and ci so we are supposed to find it so compound interest and simple interest for same ptr so one thing is for sure that always compound interest yields more interest compared to simple interest with same ptr so let's try to make the relation so ca minus si is given it is 100 rupees so ca can be written as p into 1 plus r by 100 all power n n becomes your time minus p so it will be the amount so we are supposed to subtract m, uh, principal from amount we get uh, interest of compound interest minus so interest by simple interest is ptr by 100 it is 100 so i am taking p as common and substituting the all the values it becomes 110 by 100 whole square minus 1 p is taken as common minus so tr by 100 20 by 100 equals to 100 so finally i get it as so two zeros cancel and decimal point moves to here so 1.1 square 1.21 minus 1 minus 20 by 100 point 0.2 so p into 1.21 minus point 0.2 becomes 1.01 minus 1 so finally we get p into point 0.01 equals 100 so p will be 100 into 100 it becomes uh, 10,000 finally option B is the correct answer and here comes a downstream and upstream related question like Lisa can travel 50, 54 km downstream and 27 upstream so taking 9 hours each time so let me tell you for the concept here, uh, here. so for example let us consider that the water is flowing in, the, in this direction so now whenever we want to travel in this direction it is considered as the downstream so if you want to move against the water flow it is called as the upstream now let's uh, make the formula here so it is taking nine hours each time so let's consider that first of all downstream so time will be total distance by speed equals to time so here distance will be 54 kilometers 
and speed in the downstream will be always the speed will speed in the downstream will be u plus v like for example the speed of the person is uh, ship is u and speed of water is v so it the net speed will be u plus v so 54 by u plus v equals to 9 hours this is the first relation and speed in the upstream will be difference like uh, here the upstream distance is 27 divided by so the net upstream speed will be always the lesser because they are in opposite direction so it becomes u minus v if the person want to move in this uh, opposite direction of water so the net speed will be u minus v and total time is 9 same so 9 ones are 9 6 are so 9 ones are 9 threes are so u minus v is 3 u plus v is 6 u minus v it is 3 u plus v it is 6 so finally we can say that u equals to 4.5 on solving these two equations we get u equals 4.5 v equals to 1.5 so what is u and v u will be the speed of the person and v will be the speed of the water we are supposed to find the speed of the water or current so it will be 1.5 option c is the correct answer